praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise Him, for He is your health and salvation. Come on, who to his altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord, who shall prosper our work and defend us. Surely his goodness and mercy shall daily attend us. Ponder on what the Almighty can do, who with his love will be friends. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to each other. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, God highest, the highest, and on earth, earth peace to, to people, people of, of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you we bless you, you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him. And I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God, he has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. 
I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading, we see the great prophet Elijah, who is running from his life and in a moment of great despair. And then the Lord, through an angel, gives him some bread and water. He takes some time to sleep, and that strengthens him so that he's able to go on to encounter God in the mountain of Horeb, which goes to show you that sometimes when things look at their bleakest, what we really need is a nap and a snack. But it's also important that there is that connection of a meal and encounter, that God comes to the prophet and gives him food, as opposed to just giving him the supernatural need not to need food, but to have the strength to go. Because there's something very human about this connection between eating and being together and drawing strength from one another. I was just on um, a little bit of a vacation last week, spent some time with my, uh, my family, and there was definitely a lot of that. We would come together and talk over the table. Our connection strengthened by that time, eating, sharing, talking. It really was such an important and and beautiful way to connect to people I care about deeply but haven't seen in two years because of the pandemic. And so we did that a lot. I came back a couple pounds heavier than when I left. But it is an important and a beautiful thing. And we see that throughout our lives, throughout our culture, Whenever there's something really important, we tend to connect it with a meal, often a special meal. We come together to have a reception after weddings. We often have special food for, for birthdays. We come together because of other important moments in our lives, graduations, baptisms, first communions, funerals. And for secular holidays, it's the same thing. We often will have a special meal, a turkey for Thanksgiving, a, you know, burgers and hot dogs for the 4th of July, those times we come together. I know that when my, that my mom has a special type of mushroom soup that she will only ever make for Christmas because if to her, it's so closely connected to Christmas Eve. And I've been making that soup for Christmas Eve myself because to me, that also is that connection to, to family, to tradition. There is something special about sharing a meal. I think that's why Jesus chose to be with us in the form of bread the bread of life, the bread that comes down from heaven, the bread that is himself, his body, his blood, his soul, his divinity. The real Jesus comes down to us, wants to be with us, to strengthen us. And again, he had an infinite amount of different ways he could have made that happen. He's God. He could have chosen any sort of way. But he chose the Eucharist. He chose to make it so that we can come together to hear his word, share our needs, ask his forgiveness. 
all over this mass where we gather around the table where we share the bread of life. When something is truly important, we come together and we have a meal. In that way, Jesus feeds us. He strengthens us. He guides us through his word. He lets us know that he is present, that we are important to him, that we are connected to him. So let us make sure that we are recognizing his real presence in the Eucharist, in every Mass, but also that we are taking advantage of this beautiful gift that every time we are able to participate in Mass, either in person or through the magic of television, that we recognize that we are doing something beautiful and important. We are sharing in the presence of Christ. That Christ is coming to us and giving us all the graces we need to live our lives well. Like Elijah, we will always be facing different challenges, different sufferings, different problems. Sometimes all we need is a snack and a nap. But in all times, where the problems are huge or tiny, if we turn to the Lord, if we turn to the Eucharist, we will have all the grace we need to not just overcome the challenges, but to be united with Christ through them, to come away stronger, holier, and happier. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's goodness and love, we turn to him now, bringing forward our hopes, our needs, and our petitions. That the church be attentive to the afflicted and those in distress, ever striving to provide comfort and charitable assistance, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that world leaders work toward a more just distribution of resources, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that the people of the world respect all life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we hold in prayer all those who will die this day, especially those who will die alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us remember in prayer the souls of the recently departed, including Jane McGuire, Judith Laporto, Kevin Barry, Daniel Holbrook, and all those who've been affected by the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who gather to partake of this Eucharist be reconciled to one another in God's grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And let us pray for Mary Porter, Robert and Francis Pirtle, Michael Conlon, John B. Kelly, Mildred Kelly and family, and for Frank Morano celebrating his 100th birthday on August the 12th, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, we thank you for hearing us, for all the ways you bless us, and most of all, for coming to us as the bread of life. We ask you to open our hearts more fully to your presence, your grace, and your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christians, let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. With his flesh and blood we are fed. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life, God is love. We who break this bread are one body. We who share this cup are all one. Children of our Father in heaven, we are heirs with God's only Son. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life, God is love. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 
Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, 
There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. Give us a sign that we might believe in you. Moses brought us manna from the sky. Look 
beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. I am the bread which from the heavens came. Those who eat this bread will never die. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ in me arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me arise and I shall rise with you. Be now my vision, open these eyes, showing me all that I must see. Onward to the kingdom, you are the way. Arise in me and I shall rise with you. Christ in me, arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me, arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me, pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me, arise and I shall rise with you.